Jumper. Eh? Can't be filming stuff on there. Why not? Why? You're not allowed to film people's uh, property. Really? Is that a law? You're not allowed to have cameras on people's property like that. Really? Yeah. Since when? 100%. Yeah. No, that You're can't not be to have right. cameras on people's properties. Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's Audit in Yorkshire. Um, just here in Halifax today, <coughs> my former um, place of residence, yeah, before I moved to Leeds. So, um, I've been visiting the uh, Shea Stadium today. I've done, made a bit of a video of Halifax uh, FC and the Halifax Panthers. Uh, I've noticed some construction work as well while I've been driving down there. Um, Sort of like a ball green area, top of town. Uh, so I've got some pictures here. Um, I'll just show you. Yeah, look at look how nice that's going to be. You see oh, it? Looks nice. Looks big nice, block, that, doesn't it? Big block. So yeah, it used to be uh, like a free level car park, um, but <clears throat> built to rent provider. Uh, place first to secure planning permission for its two, 21 million scheme wow. on the oh, town really? centre brownfield site. So, it's, what it's going to do is it's going to transform the site, what used to be a car park, uh, to apartments. 122, yeah, that's a lot. Uh, so, designed in partnership with JM Architects, the scheme is intended to fit into a series of public realm and highway improvements in the cow green area <clears throat> so apparently there's more to come there's more improvements to come now let's see what it's saying here um start site so yeah completion date is uh, expected for 2025 and uh, yeah, there's not much more to it to be honest. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go up and have a look. Yep. Uh, obviously, you're going to. You, I'll put a picture on screen anyway, so you can see what it's going to look like. Uh, you can also see what it looks like now while construction is in progress. So I will a, pick you back up. So this is it. It's cow green. Now there used to be trees in this middle island going all the way across they're not there anymore I think they've been deliberately taken down to make way for new plants or or whatever but we've got a crane in operation so we're going to take drone up obviously uh, I'm, a, I'm, you know, I'm a qualified drone pilot so I'm not going to put anyone in danger like that. It's a lift shaft, isn't it? Right, look on my camera. What the hell is that hanging down? That, the, that counterbalance weight on the back. Right. So if it's going to be going higher or lifting heavier weights, you can't balance it. Ah, it right, I knew you'd know that. Mm -hmm. right, yeah. So, the, the main shaft is the lift elevators. Yep. I always put them in and then build around it. I've got one from Leeds. Um, that's nearly complete. We're going to go and revisit that when it's complete. So I've got the lift shaft going up to... Four twenty-three. Yeah. Uh, this is a good shot. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, maybe ten levels. So you can see him. Up there, working out. So yeah, we'll bring this one back and have a walk around. Right, so we're just approaching. So obviously. Uh, I'm not going to expect uh, any bad altercations from this place today because it's people interested in what's going on in the local area. Me sharing things for people. So, Cadot Construction are in charge of it. Homes to rent, blah, 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 blah. So, we've got some partners and other kinds of stuff. That's what it's going to look like. I think it's going to be summer before this is Wow. Do you know what? It's actually going to look really nice. Hopefully, it's going to make Halifax Town Centre 
look a little bit more up class um, and basically yeah more money is going to be getting spent in the economy in the Halifax area Calderdale it's going to be more people living here more money getting injected into local businesses councils stuff like that so it can only be a good thing yeah so we've got we have we've got the uh, the usual safety shit Plus, look at some of these pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're not going on site, so it doesn't really matter to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got big concrete silos and stuff. Hey. Yeah. So three minutes what we do we get out, we just had, had, had a system. So are you coming out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry mate. We'll Which way. side are you opening? So I don't get in your way. Both sides. Both sides. Yeah, He's coming out. Right, I'll stand out of way then, alright mate. Time that night, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be yeah, no problem mate. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Leeds. I used to live round here, so I remember this place before uh, when it got car park. What about you? You live down here. Up Pelham. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm Kev. What do you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. YouTube. Yeah. What it is? If I'd have known. This place was going to be getting developed, and they come and filmed it before. Yeah, and done it. That's what. When it was the car park. Most sites I go to, well, not most. The last side I went went onto, yeah, there was yeah. this old old man, and he had he had pictures of it from when they took it down oh, and everything right. they put it all up. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find some. Faces. I'm going to try and find some pictures online, um, and then I'm going to include them with video. The YouTube channel's audit in Yorkshire, and that's where Story Report. And like I say, sometimes, I mean, we just go everywhere, we film all kinds of things. Mm. Uh, we don't always look, we never look for bad reactions. Yeah. We never look for bad reactions. Not but, like you're pranking people. But no. a lot of time, people come and say, you can't film, you know, what you're doing. And they'll get aggressive and they'll get yeah. mouthy. Oh, but why can't they be like you? <laughs> Sound as a pound. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're not, you know, we're not going to get in anyone's way. Oh, yeah, that's it, mate. No problem, my friend. So, when it says tiers, when it said multi-storey car park, so sort of like where them flats are, but it'd have been the lower level, then you'd have gone up a little hill, a little ramp, up to this one here, this one, the middle section, then you'd have gone up another little ramp, up to the top section there, where them porter cabins are. Um, so there's no way, <laughs> technically, it wasn't a multi-storey car park. You know, that'd be something like a multi-storey car park, but obviously it's going to be flats. They always fascinate me, do these trades. I love watching them. Uh, the drone's going to be taken up in a safe manner. Nobody's going to be, uh, well, nobody will even see it. So there's going to be absolutely no problems at all. But yeah, they're working hard, they're coming on quite well with this, to be honest with you. Uh, so if we just move up to this next section, this was another another entrance point onto the site. Um, so by the looks of it, yeah, so this had been the top tier bit, the top car park. Gate shut, they've got a gate open there, which yeah, is propped open. It, well, it's propped open with a cone, so that's that's not very good for health and safety. What, because what we, we do now, they have a pass to the builders. Yeah, but what I'm saying, yeah, is this is key coded. Yeah, it's a secure gate. But, but we've got it propped up. We've got it propped open with the cone. So let's just turnstile. Yes. Yeah. 
So that's turnstile, face recognition. We're all doing this now. Let's go have a look. You can't, you can't get in, and, and that, that's, that's the whole reason. So we've got, um, I don't mind being on camera. Crit, see if I'll let me in. Move closer. Pro process. <laughs> Don't use her. Oh dear. Here, come and check this out, what? Yeah. This is funny. Come and check this out. <laughs> Watch what he says on the screen. Watch, look. Move closer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unknown user. <laughs> Unknown user. So it's uh, bi biometrics. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So any visitors can press that button there. So yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess we're not really the, doing the, no the, wrong by leaving that gate open. Quite a while, because when you go into a military base, you get that when you go into high complex places. <laughs> yeah, let's have a little look in there. So, right at the end there, <clears throat> just after where that guy stood, that used to be used to be able to drive. So you drive in this gate and you drive on to where he is, and you drive down there, and that'll take you on to your next section. Right, and when you do the same again down at the bottom, where uh, the building, the um, the apartments. So yeah, um, kind of multi-story, but I don't think really, not really. So um, I think someone's coming out, so I'm gonna move. Oops. Oh, oh hell. Right, I'll just move out of her way. Down these legs. So the concrete I've just moved so you can is, come out, love. The concrete that's coming down out of that tub is being fed into the wooden supports around the casing. Yeah, so yeah, then yeah. It just fills, it fills it all. We're out. just making a video. You don't construct on flats, so just we're not up to old gods yet. No, all right. Really yeah, it's coming. It's it's coming on nicely, isn't it? It is. It's building up. It, it is. It's up. coming on nicely. So I mean, what we can do, we can stand right over at yonder there on yeah. path and get drawn. Look at it. Definitely. As you can see, these legs are already being built for that point. And when we get to the next level, those metal um, structures will be stood up through the floor. So they'll we'll box them off and then they'll we'll refill just like that. That'll fill over there. We'll just keep going up and keep going up. So they'll add more metal. So we've got a project information board. Duration 89 weeks. You can pause all this and read it at your own leisure, guys, if you wish. That's the project manager, Neil Murray. Um, value 19 million, but it said 21, didn't it? Yeah. Unless it's gone down. Safety, health and safety information, carbon information, performance. So I've got 96% of workforce within a 30 mile radius. So 90, 96% of this workforce do, working on this project are within a 30 mile radius Yorkshire of Halifax. People, probably, so that's, which, is which is good, because I mean, it's giving some back to York, to, yeah. Yeah. To, to people in Yorkshire, it's giving yeah. them jobs. Uh, there's three local apprentices. Um, we have engaged with two local schools and colleges. Uh, this is really good, I've yeah, never seen this before. Company. Never seen this before on a construction oh, site. All this information. I've have seen this company about before, and they are they are very good. They're not they're not the biggest company. Yeah, they're very good. Also, they check their own own site service drug and drug and um, be, alcohol. Yeah, but to be fair, what you'll find is with a lot of a lot of bigger sites, more well known sites, is the level of professionalism is is completely different. Yeah. So I'll bring it back to you guys, and I will see you up in the sky. Right guys, um, let's get up in the sky. So, uh, just reference to what you just said, War, off camera. Uh, yeah, it's because I, when, when, I, when I set it off going, I, I, you go that bit further I altituded it manually, yeah. so it went up okay. a little bit further. Um, like I said. Got all the more up to date um, updates on it now. So it seems to be uh, the GPS a lot quicker. I mean, to be fair, looking at what I'm looking at, it looks like a fairly clean, tidy site. There don't seem to yeah. be any, uh, a lot of hazards. There's fences up, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, they've really thing, gone to town, Things seem they? to be in place. Um, I'm going to go higher than the crane, because I want to go check that crane out. Would you say I'm higher than that crane? I don't 
obviously we've got a fantastic oh, I think we need to go a bit higher we've got a fantastic visual line of sight oh yeah the thing is we've got grey clouds behind so the drone well stands out yeah 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 you can see you can see the drone perfectly can't you I can see it um, so we'll just bring it round side a little bit there we go so I'm just, doubling up your spot there anyway so we're just coming round yeah. we'll, we'll get a nice 360 on this we're getting a nice little 360 shot on this bad boy And then what we're going to do is we're just going to bring it to a little bit of a stop to slow it down a little bit yeah. right there yeah still out in open space let's set the drone a little bit closer and we'll see if we can spot the um the guy the guy inside the crane it's probably, uh, it's probably busy I might have to go to the other side, you know. So let's just go to the other side. I'll bring it round. It's not bothering any of them, that's great. They're right. not bothered at all. I found this little uh, I found this little cabin. <laughs> what a on top? Yeah. Do you know what? what? I don't think he's in it oh, now. Okay. Oh, he's in. oh, he's in it. He's in it. He's in it. There, look. Yeah. Took his eye viz off in his hat, which he's allowed to do in there. Is he? Is he allowed to do what? Yeah, because he's in a in a cab. He's safe. All right, so we're just gonna go down a little bit more I want to fly over this and just get a quick look down again you know we're high enough not to basically not to of anyone I'm watching it I'm doubling to, it up well yeah we've got I've got a spotter and I've got a visual line of sight we're, we're not putting anyone in danger we're high enough for if people if that train starts to move I'll alert you straight away not to see us If my crane starts to move, mate, in touching my drone, because it'll be off. Yeah, it, it won't move fast enough. You'll better fly out of its way dead easy. The drone's too quick. Yep. Oh, bye, mate. I won't fancy falling down there, mate. No, you definitely need a lift. Right, let's take that drone back. Hey, up, mate. You all right? You all right, pal? Having a look. With what? Having a look down Fly the shaft. Why it, mate? Eh? Can't be filming stuff on there. Why not? Why? You're not allowed to film people's uh, property. Really? Yeah. Is that a law? You're not allowed to have cameras on people's property like that. Really? Yeah. Since when? 100% you can. No, that You're can't be right. You're not allowed to have cameras on people's properties. You, you can't be right. I'm getting butterflies now. He's scaring me. Are you being serious? What are you filming for? Just filming job. Interesting. Who are you anyway, sir? I'm the project manager of this company. Oh, you? Yeah, you yeah we've just been... Uh, yeah. We've just been bigging this company up, what, actually. What, what, are you, what are you actually filming for? <coughs> the only problem we've got is, obviously, anything that you put on here, we don't have a bit of news like on social media unless you give us, give us a copy of what you're showing so we can get some... No, that, uh, that'll be the people that you use for social media. That won't apply to people in public. Hang on, can I ask you a question? Yes. Um, have you have you got anyone who's taken any drone footage of this place? Yeah, we've allowed people to. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're going to say because I quite happily I quite happily send you a copy. If you do of, that, of what I've recorded. All we need to do is what yeah, you're just showing it for. That's all. Right. Basically, so we we came here. Obviously, we spoke to Gateman. He sounds as a palmat guy. Uh, we've actually been bigging company up. So when you see this video, 
you'll see that we've been bigging the company up. We've been, you know, you've got everything in place what should be in place. The problem we've got, you know, is um, if, if, if there's anything that we don't want the public to see or the client don't want the public to see. Then what you're going to have to do, that's, mate, that's the, that's the do you know when you go down to hospital? You know when you get like them screens what like block you so people can't see you pulling your pants down? You need to get a giant one of them with four sides and a roof and stick it around this construction site. Yeah. Because if you don't do that, mate, people can film people it. People could drive down here with the dash cams on and get similar vip pictures as us. And they could do what with that. Now, what's, what's you you might think I'm being a little bit sarcastic, but I don't know what... I honestly don't know what makes people tick sometimes and what makes people think we can't film. Well, there's, there's no, it looks good. There's no issue with you, obviously, doing it for your own personal use, but as a company, we just don't like people using it for social media because it can also, it can obviously, drop up people's feathers. And just for example, the client... You're not doing it in a negative don't way. Us, no, well, I don't, I don't, for one minute, think that you are. But when we first saw you doing it, I just thought that potentially you are doing. You could have been filming it because you want to break in, you want to pinch oh, something, no, 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 anything no, no, like no, that. No, no, that that's what I first initial saw, yeah. and I thought to myself, you're checking it out because you might be. Is he still, might be looking. All going to come back and nick your pain. Is he still with me? Get on back on my car. No, but there's, there's obviously we've not. not so you'll be. A, not you've been all right, you mate. You've been all right. Yeah, you've been all right. I assure you, there's nothing. To be fair, mate, criminal. your site, your site's secure, isn't it? Uh, it to, is. to alleviate your suspicion, because I'm not an asshole. To alleviate your suspicion, we're not here for anything nefarious. We're not wanting to break in. Um, what we're doing is we've been filming site. Now I remember when Mr. Car Park, and I wish I'd, I was telling your man earlier, I wish I'd have got a video of it before construction started because I'm going to come back when it's completed and show people what it looks like. So that's what the kind of stuff we do. We get the process, 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 start to finish your place. It's going to look good when it's done. Yeah, it's going to look yeah. fantastic. Yeah. If you can see from our point of view, if we can film in any of your properties, you'd be the same inquisitive like well, we are. The walls are different, but, but, but as long as it's. Well, to be, to be fair, though, mate, it? to be well, fair, right? It's in the public, but it's personal subscriber, houses subscriber. are under different rules. Technically, different privacy, technically, technically, you can do it, mate. I get no, drones. But you understand with the I get drones flying over my house. All I can do about it is that you're not scoping it out for robbing us no. any time because no. it, it can happen. We'd be self-incriminating right. ourselves, <laughs> wouldn't we? Listen, mate. This so is our channel. No, no. If you're right, if your site gets burgled tonight, coppers are going to be coming on. Like, well, they won't be because the, the video ain't going to be getting released yet. But when it does. Oh, they might do, mate. All coppers round here know what I am. It's CCTV. You're just using it for like one of these uh, social media posts where it's YouTube, whatever. Start to finish Start on to construction finish, and stuff like that. You might even wait until you finish and come back and film it when it's done. Yeah, no, I've just said that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Now, when I before I set off, right, I'm a registered drone pilot, so this might make you feel a bit more comfortable. I've got an operator ID and a flyer ID. I'm a registered drone pilot. I've been flying for seven years. Uh, my drone's actually in, in it's up there. Can you see it? Can you see that drone there? Yeah. That ain't gonna move, mate, until I move it. Yeah. That is not gonna move. That's that's fair until I bring it back down. So when I set off, I set off within a safe distance from the building. I, I actually went higher than the crane before I fl and, and I flew over it to get some um, aerial shots. And then, I, and then I did a 360. But I, when I did the 360, I stayed out of your perimeter. I can fly over it, but doing a 360 directly above it is not really that safe. We've got to take all these things into consideration. We Especially don't want, the yeah, we don't want our drone flying. Um, we don't want it crashing, sorry. We don't want it distracting any of your workers, especially that guy up yeah, there, because he's got a very, yeah. yeah, he's got a very important job. So we're not going to take it uh, too close to him. He's probably seen it, but he doesn't have, have to worry about it, it. You know. Um, so we are professional, we do know what we're doing, we do it every day. Do, do you have, I know you might not have, but do you have any quite cards in like that? Like a, no, just, I don't have any cards, I don't, so I, know, I don't tell so people, I don't tell people where I'm from, it, it, it's just, I'm a, I'm a another, member at public. Another big thing, yeah. you're not planning on kind of um, climbing up the Woody Crane or anything like that, because no, that give all that. So no, we're not doing that yet, because that's another, another, there's all yeah. things that we've got to consider because ultimately when you see a big really crane inside it, it somebody did it in Leeds and fell off about um, three, three weeks, weeks ago. ago right well they're stupid aren't they actually they actually flew over a crane no they climbed, no, up, they climbed up the crane, climbed up the crane. scoped the crane it out and, uh, climbed up the crane so that's obviously another thing we have to consider when, when obviously we see some in this right so your project manager yeah yeah. And we'll put that in this video. Anyone your most professional stupid? project manager on a on a construction site I've ever spoken to. 
normally they're assholes, mate, and they'll come out and tell me yeah. I can't do it. Like, no, you I come was... out and, yeah, you said you, you can't and it's illegal, but obviously you're under misapprehension. You, you don't know um, fully what's going on until I tell you, because I know the law and I know what I can and can't do, so it's not a case of I'm patronising you, it's a case of I'm educating you and just letting you know what we can do. But you've come, you haven't been an asshole. you've been brilliant, you've come out, you're curious, you've got every right still, to come still, and ask still us. It's private property, though. It is. But it's a, what it is, is because... No, that's right. It's yeah. it's civil aviation authority control the airspace, don't they? So it's like by them. what my colleague said ten minutes ago. It was slightly a little bit wrong. You yeah. can fly drones over people's houses and people's gardens. There's, you can't do anything about it because we don't own the airspace. But there's a level of privacy. Level of privacy so if a drone came down in front of your bedroom window and it's got a camera on it, you're obviously going to ring the police. Yeah, yeah. But with this being a company. Obviously, it's a business. There's no expectations of privacy. It's under construction. It's in public. You know, no one, no one lives here. No one's getting, getting dressed in, in bed our or all like that. Our, our honest main concern is that you're not up to any kind of criminal activity, which I think I can kind of gather that you're not. We're uh, stopping out the bloody crane because we, it's very, very, very important to us about stopping people. Right. I don't want to be on the Let me land this and I'll show you something right quick. Landing. But yeah, we obviously just wanted to make sure that there's nothing untoward going on. Because, right, uh, what's your name? Neil. Neil, I'm uh, Kev. Nice to meet you, Neil. Right, listen, there. I don't normally do Morning. this, but I'm going to show you something. Right? I don't normally do this. Because you've been right, and obviously, you know, uh, you've been sound as a pound. Uh, so this is where I set off from, obviously. Um, and then I have gone a boat. Now, I, when you look at that there, you might think from that foot, oh bloody hell, that's close. That's not close, that's nowhere near. That's, I'd say, at least 15 foot above your crane. That's me zoomed in. So I, I do all these zooming and 360 shots and all that kind of stuff, just to, just to make it look good. This is me going round. Can you see that there? Obviously I'm going round the construction site. Yeah. I'm not above it when I'm 316, because like I said, that'd be dangerous. And there's a crane, I'm going round it. And when I flew across, just checking all this out, obviously. Um, I always like to have a look and see if I can see any one of the cranes. Um, and then I'll below the crane, obviously that's moved, so it won't endangering anybody. I've had a quick look down there. And then I think that's when you came out, and when I moved it back and stopped recording. Um, but, so is that, you, all, is that all it is then for your whatever kind of footage you get? It's just purely for that. And there's nothing yeah. Else. What, what what it is right? So, sometimes we sometimes we get arsed because we get this a lot. Normally from people who aren't as nice as you, and they'll come out and say you can't film. You need to go away. Blah 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 blah. Right. So if you were walking, if you were walking in park with your dog, and you were filming and going through park, and say it was Sunday, you're not working. Uh, someone came up to you and said, are you filming? Who are you? Well, it doesn't matter who I am. You need to stop filming. And you're at park with your dog filming your dog. Are you going to stop filming? Because somebody, because some average Joe Bloggs tells you to. You're going to tell them to can rack off, aren't you? Who are you, you mad, you mad guy? You can go away, leave me alone. That's why we get as backed up sometimes. Yeah, but to be honest with you, I don't want this video to go in that direction because the direction this video has gone in before you approach were brilliant. We've been bigging the company up, we've been looking at the health and safety posts. Obviously, we knew who you were, we've seen you on board. Uh, we've been talking about uh, how, how good this is for the Halifax town itself when it's completed. There's going to be over 200 oh, oh, flats in here, which is going to bring more people to Halifax. It's going to be more money getting injected into the town through councils and local businesses. We think it's great. Um, and that's all we're doing it for, literally, um, is Well, I mean, personal. you can understand when we see somebody filming as close as that, and there's, there's that many things people do nowadays. Like I say, we've had a massive clampdown on um, security for the tower cranes. because I can't, I can't believe people that do that. Three weeks ago in Leeds. Yeah, and yeah. Then the other one is, I've granted it for ages, but we have had break-ins early doors where people have pinched a few things and got on, but... So far, it's been fine for the last probably four or five months. Well, I'm an urban explorer as well, right? So I go checking abandoned buildings out. 
so you see my um i've got quite a wide range of skills so <laughs> i could probably climb that crane and be all right but i ain't gonna do it yeah, if i'm on a but uh, if i'm on an abandoned site like example i went down to last year i went down to um denby asylum in, in in north wales and there's some big massive 200 300 foot silos it was safe there were guards or real guards were supposed to pull ladders and i climbed up to the top and i tell you what mate when i got up there i did not feel comfortable at all i couldn't wait to get back down um but that's the kind of stuff i do as when i'm not doing this so like i said yeah, i can tell from video that you're obviously taking videos from the whole site and not just kind of set like specifically going after cabins or tower crane things like that yeah we're not so after robin but listen we get this a lot as well right oh but if, if people see your video right they can see what we've got i get it from a lot of private businesses and it's like well if you don't want stuff outside for people to see put it inside and if your site is as you keep selling me not i'm not not you any anyone as you keep telling me if your site is that secure what are you worried about people breaking in for you've got gates you've got cameras you, you've probably got nighttime security haven't you on here yeah there you go fantastic it's only as secure as what uh the, the person that's getting in is as good as in it so realistically let's look at it this way right you've got nighttime security right one guard two guards whatever i don't want to know that because that's your business you've got a police station literally just over the road no one's breaking in here and nicking out, mate. Well, and if they do, do we're getting apprehended well, pretty quickly. Right. Yeah, they've been quite good police. There's, there's cameras all over the town. So have you had any dealings with police? We just had a couple of break-ins early-ish doors when we first started, and they were. We've got a system set up, and obviously the, the guards could call through, and they're supposed to respond within so many minutes. Probably two or three minutes. We had some deal on the worst case scenario, so they've been all right. Right, all right. that's fantastic. Uh, to be honest with you, mate. But um, if, if that's all you're doing i used to be a local body, lad it's not it's not not a very big issue but the only thing from my concern is that you don't obviously distract the crane driver especially which oh, never do sure that. it will um, you know, there's, there's certain certain things that you, you know if you if you see if, if someone on there is doing something they shouldn't be for example and you film it and put it on social media and and a, a safety consultant sees it and then next thing you know it's got caddick's name on it and yeah but your your, your site's top notch mate but you're doing a good job as project smallest manager thing the, smallest thing yeah 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 nip, nip you for it that's yeah thing. yeah yeah but if, if, if you're doing if you're doing a good job as a project manager you won't have to worry about oh, you know what not. i mean generally not exactly and to yeah. be fair i've seen all you guys and they all seem to be working and i mean them them three up there look like they're chatting but that's not against health and safety regulations he's, is it he's one of, one of the bosses up there anyway so. you know what i mean but no as long as yeah i just want to just find out what you're doing because it just looked a bit suspicious at first but we don't often get lads just coming filming from that point of view i just saw the drone up there which were quite close to uh the crane that just concerned me a bit like that i said i would i would you've done the right thing from a security point of view so i'm not annoyed you've come out to speak to us you've done the right thing um we audit you see you heard of auditors aren't you people going around filming businesses stuff like that making sure they're doing what they should be doing and anything we're doing wrong it gets highlighted yeah so you so basically you coming out and speaking to us you've done the right thing you've done what's expected probably by your company and i'm sure i'm sure viewers will agree with me as well um you'll actually be getting picked up quite a lot because you have come you have been professional you have been nice you haven't been arsy you've not swore at us and we get that a lot in a lot of places we go that's, the, that's when it gets, gets worse then, doesn't it? all i'll recommend to you is if, if people do come down and start asking about with drones and, and they are seriously taking the piss by getting too close and that then ring police because they shouldn't be doing that it's yeah, an we, we've had a few of us dangerous uh, the, the council's had a couple sent over and we've had a zone done and obviously again it's one of them where we kind of plan it in let the crane driver know what's happening just so he's fully aware uh, so it doesn't distract him but yeah obviously you can I hope you can imagine it's always concerning when you see something flying around that shouldn't be I just saw yeah. you two out of window and I thought, oh, what they're doing now there. Oh, no, I mean, I'd, obviously, I mean, as long as it, as long as there's no geo. So basically, with the type of drone I've got, it's a DJI Mini 2. So it's all, it's DJI work in, in conjunction with the Civil Aviation Authority. So on, on their maps, uh, 
it, it will tell you if you can fly in that area if there's a risk um, if, 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 it's a, if it's a yellow zone you can fly over it but obviously it might raise security issues security risks you get blue zones you get red zones which is a big no-no this has got no zone over it so there's no restrictions at all um, but we do get it quite a lot and obviously we we always fly responsibly and stuff as long as you do I mean like I say I haven't got so much problem with you doing it it's it's the type of footage that gets released and uh, making sure that our not only our client but my boss is happy with it that's all but ultimately if you put it on without our consent I can't do anything about it so much I can do but to be fair I mean this would be I mean this with the um, utmost respect we don't need the consent that's not me being an arsehole that's just me saying what we don't need the consent, we don't need permission. I go to a lot of places filming and uh, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to take my drone up and I'll press reception. And say, no, you can't take your drone up and stuff. And, and it's like, well, I'm not asking permission. I've come in out of courtesy just to let you know. Obviously, I've not done that today with you guys because it, it's kind of a different scenario. You know, we're in the middle of a town centre. It's a construction site. It's an open space. Um, Essentially, it's not a private business, it's, it's a construction site, so we, we generally don't let people know what we're doing. Um, I've done a few construction sites, never had any hassle. I mean, it will, to be fair, it will look good at ends when it's finished, and especially in this part of Halifax, it's just what they need, really. It is, mate, because like I said, it's a dying, it's, it's, it is really kind of a dying town. I think a lot of the I think a lot of towns are in the same situation. You know, we, everything's going online, isn't it? Your next day delivery of this and next day delivery of that. Like I said, this is 210 flats for private for rent to buy. There's potentially going to be families living in these buildings, which brings money to this town. I think yeah, it's 122 apartments, but potentially you could have almost two people in every apartment. Couldn't you? So it's, yeah, probably it's two, more. 250 people at least, isn't it? Yeah, probably more. You're probably going to get families in here and stuff. When it's completed, what we're going to do is we're going to come back, obviously, when you guys have packed up and gone, and we're going to show people what it looks like then as well. And like I said, I wish I'd have come before you started when it were a car park. Yeah. Because I could have, you know, this is what it was. This is well, it under if, construction, this is it now. Even if you give us, if you come and do another one, just give us a heads up. Just maybe to ask right, to your, your Caddock, us, aren't you? Your Caddock, I've never yeah. come across Caddock before. Um, yeah, I've seen them. We're, we're very big in uh, kind of Leeds, York, yeah. Manchester, that type of area. All right. The first time we've done anything kind of so close to... We're about the third biggest kind of construction well, we're, 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 we're probably, probably almost one of the biggest family-owned yeah. construction groups in the country. Right. I'm not sure where we are in terms of uh, the um, table of how big we are. But, uh, are you still doing that project next to Merion Centre? I rise. No, no, because no. I filmed that last year. Got some jobs in Leeds. So yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go back to that when it's nearly complete. So similar sort of thing to this. If um, yeah, there's a big job as you drive down Whitehall Road into the centre. Yeah. And then there's one at the back near the West Yorkshire Playhouse that's been going on for years. It's a right. big job mechanic. There's one down the Olympic. Henry's are doing that one, aren't they? Yeah. I love yeah. this one. They started shouting at me. They mental. That crane's amazing. I mean, if you look at sort of, if you look at my phone, this is on. I mean, I'm not recording, but that's sort of times ten zoom, and I can go all the way in. I mean, look coffee. at that. That's amazing, that isn't it? You can see yeah. him drinking his, his cup of coffee. Like I said. Oh. Is that not a mobile phone? Like, is that a, the actual drone camera? No, like, no, 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 this is my mobile phone it's camera. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. S22 Ultra, 100 times zoom. Yeah, it's a better, better. I'm on an old uh, iPhone, it's shite. Oh, uh, iPhones are not nice. I don't like iPhones. Yeah, there's not a very good for camera, but No, I'm shit. Been. If you want a decent phone, um, like I said, Samsung Galaxies, some of the best cameras on market. S24 Ultra has just come out. Definitely are a better camera. I'm going to upgrade to that in summer. That's why most auditors have Samsung's because they're so good. Oh, it's fine, I find the iPhones are better, easier to use, but not as good with cameras. Yeah. yeah. Better for you. Where I worked before, my boss gave me an iPhone. I used it to keep the door open when it was warm. I'm I talking about like there was somebody. One of the first couple of phones I had with a Blackberry, can you remember them? Oh, yeah, yeah, Black yeah, yeah. Buttons. Buttons on the front. <laughs> I had uh, 9300, mate. 
you know, with, with, with QWERTY keyboard, 9300, and then that little thing in the middle what was touch sensitive to go through your options. Oh, yeah. Blackberry exactly. Messenger and that. Yeah, I was saying though, back day, in I, there. I wouldn't mind going back to a normal, <laughs> simple phone without a camera or anything where yeah. you just text message and phone, that's it. That's it. But, that's but, all you need. but why do people, right, in this day and age, I mean, did you see us when we were just filming? Before we took the drone no, off? No. Um, no, one, no one had an issue with it. Your, your Gatesman didn't have an issue with it. No one had it. And that's, that's the kind of reaction we should be getting from people. Because having a camera filming in public, it, it's not. What's the big deal? You know, we've been getting cameras shoved down our faces for decades, mate. From our point of view, like I said to you when I first came out, the biggest thing is security, what main concern then. Yeah. Anybody climbing up that uh, tower crane is obviously a high risk for us. Yeah. I mean, I've been on another job in Manchester four years ago. And next thing you know, Monday morning, somebody found a YouTube footage, a lad had climbed right to end on it. It's a miles bigger crane than that. Right to end, filmed it all and come back down. We didn't know how we got on the site. We got on somehow. That's, that's really stupid. No, we won't be doing that. So that well. is very, very stupid. Yeah. But very yeah, stupid. No, like we, I say, we don't know if somebody did it and committed suicide or somebody tried to film, but in Leeds, a job near where we've got one of our projects, yeah. they climbed up and fell off. Someone ended up killing died. themselves. About three weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it wasn't news. Three weeks ago? Yeah. I'll have to have a Google and read it. Google it, it was about three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, do you know what? That might be a good thing to add to this and just say, look, well, if you're thinking of doing that, just don't do it. I mean, definitely, definitely, definitely disclaimer like for everybody watching. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yes. you know, do not, do not climb. Yeah, have a good holiday. Do not climb cranes. Do not enter construction sites. And if you are going to fly a drone, guys, for leisure, like we have today, do it at a safe distance. Yeah. You know, just because you can, it doesn't mean you should. Now, I have gone over this site a couple of times. Um, and I've done it at a safe distance, at a safe altitude. Uh, sometimes it does look closer than you actually your, are. Your guys, that's because it's zoom on your camera. Yeah. Just be safe. Your guys are very professional because one, they didn't react to it, and two, they didn't give us obscenities and stuff. Just got on with yeah, what they've seen them. They've had a few over before, but um, actually, funnily enough, I think maybe if you have had one before, I did see one, which I didn't know whose it was. Because yeah. we knew that the council had been over a couple of times. But, uh, it it wasn't me. Ago, I mean, I've been to Shea Stadium today, they said, you can't fly your drone over, you're not allowed to. I went, really? Who said? The law allows us to. Oh, uh, uh, managing some or whatever of Calderdale Council. Here's his email address, email him. Yeah. I looked at it and went, no, nah, you're all right, don't need to. See, we go by this app, I think you were mentioning it earlier. So really, we can't fly if it's like, well, that's Leeds yeah, and Bradford like Airport. Yeah, but yeah. We can't even take off. Some well, do fly the airports, don't they, as well? Well, idiots, aren't yeah. they? You get, you get arrested for it, and they can see everything that you see on yours. It can be traced, it can be got at online. So we can't hide from it. Yeah, yeah. And no, prisons now, they've got an extended area, so yeah. it's 400 metres, we can't go near it. Yeah. We can't fly in that area. People start to drop stuff in them, wouldn't they? So the claim, so the claim... To be, to be fair, like I said, not anymore, I live in, I'm actually, I actually live in Leeds now, but I used to live around here. Um, so I don't like, I don't like, because I know a lot of people around here and I don't like rubbing locals up the wrong way. Uh, that's why I don't film a lot of businesses around Halifax. And that, to be fair, that's why I, I've, I've been as cordial as I've been with you today. Because there's probably a local, a, a bunch of local guys working here. I don't want to upset They might even community. watch your channel. Yeah, I don't want to upset this local aware. community. They might be happy about it. No, oh, we're working there now. Last look, I'm all working. And one of your guys is from Pelham. Lives up Pelham, your gate, but he told me. Yeah, it does, yeah. So I know where Pelham is, just up road, literally. Yeah, yeah, Tommy over there. So I don't want to upset people who live and work around yeah, here. He's a nice lad, he's a nice There's lad. There's quite a few local lads on the FK. That's good. Yeah. Oh, I think Lloyd's as well. I've done Lloyd's banking group. <laughs> they get a bit upset. <laughs> uh, I know we've noticed when you get up there now, you can see there's weights that are just putting some tarpaulin up on her, but yeah. um, cheating up on a scaffold. Uh, but they've got a site over there, I don't know what they're doing. But our company's basically just been, not taken, not the company fully, but all the ex-directors of Waits have left to join Caddix recently. Right. So there's quite a, quite a lot of ex-Waits construction management coming. I did bus company. station as well. Oh, uh, well, oh, you did a good Wilmot Wilmot Dixon, that, so yeah. I used to be site manager on that job for Wilmot Dixon. Yeah, lad works for us now. Yeah, oh, is, he, is, is he a tallish guy with brown hair? It's a lad that came out here just to say it was going oh, to be. The one that you had on your video. Oh, wanted him on video? Right, okay. 
Um, known straight away, wouldn't he? would have said something to you. Yeah, they recognised me. So, yeah, all lads from Wilmot Dixon have joined Caddix from that job. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a good right, industry. I'm have to get off. Thank so, you very much. Anyway. And sorry if I were a little cheeky with you. Didn't mean to be. No, welcome. Thank you, Tim. Listen, I end it there, mate. You've done the right thing. As long as everything that you're doing is um, above board, you've, you've got done, no yeah, yeah, yeah. of uh, any other ulterior motive, then. You've done the right, right thing, but, but if, if ever, if ever you caught, if, if ever anyone comes and we are, we are, we have got drones and we're taking piss and we're getting too close, just ring coppers, mate, because yeah. they shouldn't be doing it. We, we, we don't, Safety. you know, advise it. Your guys need to be safe, so we didn't want to get yeah. too close. Safety right. is paramount. So right. just keep what you do, keep doing what you're doing and we'll be back when it's finished. Right. All right, bye, mate. Okay. Cheers, pal. Yeah, so we're back on... Uh, <clears throat> Well, we've been back up ground for a while, but um, we've, done, we've done talking to the site manager. Nice guy, to be honest. He, um, he was quite pleasant, wasn't he? Very nice. He was a nice guy. Like I said, you can tell you can tell sometimes just how just by someone's demeanour um, what the behaviour is going to like. And, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously everyone knows I'm a, I'm a paranormal investigator. I'm quite enlightened anyway. Um, so I, I just knew right off at bat that guy was going to be a good guy, yeah. and that's why I didn't sort of you know start giving him any shit. Or start, I'm a little cheeky. With you him. were a little bit cheeky, but that's what we do. Yeah. It's expected. But, but do you know what? Being a bit cheeky, you could work out he, he was he was trying to suss it out himself. Yes, so he yes. was professional, so, and, and he did. And fight. exactly, even though and this is the most important thing, even though war were a little bit cheeky, the guy still um, remained professional. Yes. Um, and that's obviously that's when we started bringing it down, and um, and and just being giving him the same courtesy basically. Um, so if you like that video, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, interaction from that as I actually thought we were going to get. Uh, it turned out to be a brilliant video. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do: smash that famous like button, uh, comment and subscribe. As War keeps saying, I'll only ask you to do it once. <laughs> and I'll see you all in the next one guys bye for now bye for now